Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change a material to become translucent or see through. This tutorial is sponsored by John John Games. So, if you guys are looking for a channel with plenty of content, gaming, and creativity, John's channel is the place to go. You should probably check out some of his socials too and stay up to date with all his latest content. Loads of stuff to see. You can find all kinds of games on there, some Grand Theft Auto stuff, even a couple of tutorials that even I haven't covered. If you fancy being sponsored in one of these tutorials, just like John John Games, all you need to do is click that join button below and become a sponsor. Now, on with the tutorial. Don't forget, click on subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload about game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So this is just a scene that I have reviewed in the asset store at some point. It's a nice scene, uh, but all I've got here is just a cube covering the window. And currently this cube has no material attached to it and we cannot see through it one bit. So how do we make it so as this is a bit more see-through, translucent or even transparent? So firstly, let's just create a quick material. Obviously that material could be called anything at all, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, if we apply that material to the game object, we can then see, yep, all good and well, but we still can't see through it. So, how do we do it? There's a couple of different ways, but the best way you could possibly do it is change the rendering mode right here. So, by default, the rendering mode will be opaque, and opaque obviously means we cannot see through it at all. If we change it to fade, we can kind of see through it, however, we can't necessarily see everything you would expect. If you were to play the game itself, you would not be able to see through it as it currently stands. If I press play and quickly show you what I mean. So we can see out this window, obviously, because there is nothing there, but this is still an entire game object that we cannot see through. So the key to all of this is changing what is known as the alpha. You have your standard RGB, red, green, blue, but at the bottom, we also have alpha on the color selection. Having a zero alpha means we can see straight through that particular game object. And if we were to press play now, we would be able to see right through it as we can in our scene view. If we change the alpha to let's say 100, we can kind of see through it. So you can see just how translucent this has now become. Obviously, if we go to the outside, we can see it as well. It just needs to be a bit thinner, this game object, but ultimately the effect is still there. So you could then play around with that alpha and you can see just how much you can see through it and how much you can't. Obviously, you can set it with color as well. And the good thing about that is that you can give an impression that it is red outside, even though it really isn't. That is the advantage you can use when you set a translucent color. It's clever. So it's a nice little effect that you can use as well. And obviously you could still play around with the metallic and smoothness uh, variables there and change how it looks. But ultimately, yeah, you can do whatever you want with this. If you were to set it as black or white, whatever, it's entirely up to you about how it looks. But it is all in that alpha. And obviously the higher the alpha, the less you can see through. The lower the alpha, the more you can see through. Like I say, if we set that as it is now, we can see. So basically, it's, it's just what it comes down to. So if I undo some of that, let's get rid of that red, uh, let's keep it as that. And yeah, just play around with the alpha and you're gonna get that effect, no problem at all. So guys, I hope that's helped and I hope that comes uh, to your game with some extra cool, awesome little effects. So uh, yeah, until the next tutorial guys, thank you very much for watching.